The KH-69 missile is another Su-57 specific weapon. It is a derivation of the older KH-59, once again designed to fit inside the Su-57 base. It has a range of at least 400 km, measured by the Ukrainians, and a warhead of about 300 kilos. And please note that the approximate range that the Russians declared when this missile was shown at an expo in 2022 was 290 km. So much for the Russians are always overclaiming narrative. The guidance is a combined system including GPS GLONASS, inertial navigation and an electro-optical seeker like the KH-59 Mark II. The missile seems to have seen the first operational use in April 2024 and since then between 30 and 40 units have been either detected or the wrecks have been recovered by Ukraine at the time of writing. And Ukrainian reports actually point out how accurate the weapon is to attack fixed target. It is believed to be in the same class as the Storm Shadow or the Taurus. The identification of the KH-69 being in use in Ukraine gives us two very important clues. The first is that the Russians can manage the complex kill chains associated with this kind of weapons. In fact, if it has to use an electro-optic or infrared seeker for the terminal guidance, it must be fed with pictures processed in a way that the missile could use, which means that the pictures must be taken, must be stored in a database, must be made available and searchable by the planners, they must be processed in a standardized way, they must be transmitted to the unit executing the mission and loaded into the weapon, together with many other pieces of information that are required for the missile to actually work. This kind of complexity is something that only advanced countries can afford on a systematic scale. But the other clue that the use of KH-69 is giving to us is even more important. The Su-57 has actively seen combat in Ukraine. Reports of the Su-57 being used in Ukraine have emerged since March 2022, when the Russians explicitly mentioned it. It was mostly reports of the aircraft launching cruise missiles from a safe distance, not much different from what other Russian aircraft are doing. There was also a report of one or two air-to-air -air victories obtained with the R-37M, but this was never confirmed. However, in 2024, the very fact that several dozens of KH-69 attacks have been identified by the Ukrainians themselves means that the Su-57s are now regularly used for long-range attacks. And probably even more missions took place and the Ukrainians could not identify them. This seems a pretty solid record from my point of view and the aircraft, well, it really looks like fully operational. <music>